be the greatest, you can be the best, you can be the King Kong banging on your chest, you can beat the world. All right, so in this video, what we're going to actually do is we're going to get online with the processor. We're going to actually take the course, the file that we made, which is called course. We're going to actually save it to our process. We're going to save it to our desktop so we know exactly where it's at. And then um, we're going to get online with it. I'm going to show you how to um, use the emulator and actually set up RS links and get online with it. So first thing we need to do is we need to go up to the very left hand corner and we need to hit save. We need to save as course. Um, if we want to put it in our, well, let's just, I'm going to put it in my documents. That's just easier for me to find. And then I'm going to hit save. Okay. So now that I've saved it, you see that it says save or it says course dot R S S right here. That means it, it actually knows it's who it is and everything. So it's actually made and it has the file and it knows who it is. So at this point, I want you to open the uh, emulator. I want you to open RS Logics Emulate 500. So again, if you do not have that open because I already had it open, go to All Programs, go to Rockwell Software. In Rockwell Software, go to RS uh, RS Logics Emulate 500. Go right here and open this file right here. It says Start the RS Logics Emulate 500. Okay, start that up, and when you start that up, I'll show you. I'll actually close mine out, and I'll show you how it works. So we come right here and open this up. And sometimes or another, like mine, for instance, had a problem with the registry. No big deal. Just click OK. Uh, it still works perfectly fine. Um, so yours most likely will not have that problem. I installed and uninstalled so many times because I was doing, like, uh, I was doing uh, some videos for YouTube and stuff. So need, needless to say, you won't, you probably will not see that. If you do, don't worry about it. It will still work. Okay, so now that we have the RS Logix Emulate 500 open, what we want to do is we want to actually go to File, and we want to open a file. So again, this point you want to point to where you saved your file, and I put it in my. Uh, my uh, documents right so I want to go to my documents um, so let's go to uh, documents and we'll go to C Drive actually let's go and save that again to a easier spot save as says my documents Let's just, yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, so let's go right here. Let's open it up. Let's go to, um, it's going to be under my name. It's going to be under my documents. My documents, and then it's going to have, I'm going to see the course. You're going to look for the file you just saved. So no matter where you save it, you don't have to save it under your documents. I generally save it to my desktop, but I wanted to let you know that you just need to find this file and then open it. It. Okay, so it says must be compiled before emulated. Okay, so in that case, you just come over here and uh, emulate. Or come over here and hit, uh, I'm sorry, hit verify. So again, save and then come over here and let's actually open that again. So it points to my documents, come over here and open that up. And you see what I did is I just come over here to the verify button. So um, if you want to see that one more time, all I did because I saved it, I came over here to this verify button, verify project, and I hit it. And that, that gave it an, a validation. And basically now I can come into here and actually open it up and select it. So if you have that trouble, do exactly what I just did. Now at this point, it's going to want to know um, 
the default stuff that I have in there. So what I will say is you know your station number from what you put in here, right? So this, we selected station zero. We're going to hit OK. Now this has the course file in it. This actually has the file in it right now, right? Now, how did I know that I was in station zero? Because the node right here, the node that we selected earlier, like in our properties, uh, I believe we did this when we first, we actually first made it. The node was zero. Like see right here, it says zero processor node. So that's how I knew exactly where to go and put in the node, um, put in the address. So again, now it's active. <clears throat> so then we need to open up RS links, right? So we open up RS links and then let's, so it I already had it open. So let me close it. Okay, so now we go to RS Links. I'm going to go to uh, Start Menu, All Programs. We're going to go to the Rockwell Software. And then we're going to go to RS Links. We're going to open up RS Links Classic. It's going to open up. And it may take just a second to actually uh, act, do the check your validation, check your activation, make sure it's okay. So don't worry, um, again, RS Links is not exactly the fastest software in the world because it does a lot and it actually has a lot to, um, you know, make sure that it's working, right? So again, so this is part of the process and it's just, um, I just want you to see this. That's why I do these videos right off the cuff and right in front of you. So you see exactly what I run into in case you run into it, you know how to react right so again we have the file we made our file we saved it saved it to a point where we could find it we went to and opened our RS um, logics emulate 500 we added the file right we added it and then we're going to come into RS links and we're going to add a driver now RS links is starting it's it's again taking its time but um what I'm going to do until that, uh, uh, so that you're not sitting there waiting on this because it may take, um, it shouldn't take no more than a minute or two, but I want to make sure that you're not sitting there wasting your time. I'm going to stop the video and start it back when it's, it's actually running. Okay. So as soon as it started up, it started up and added the driver for me, um, because I already had this running. Now, had I not had the driver running first or had I not had the RS logics running uh, prior to open up RS links, all I would have had to do was come to the driver section, which is up here on the very right hand corner or left hand corner, which is configure drivers. Go to configure drivers and then you're going to select the um, almost at the very bottom, there'll be SLC 500 DH plus 485 emulate driver. You select that and that's what will automatically prompt down here. Now, when it does that, again, if you already did the process and the steps that I did accordingly and ahead of time, you will already have this driver in here when RS Link starts up. So again, you uh, mainly you just open that up and make sure that you know that um, your processor will automatically show up because you actually have it already set up in the emulator already. So in the case that you uh, want to verify that you have everything working and if somehow this is X out then we just you need to, need to go ahead and like restart the system as far as that goes but you see exactly what I see right now is what what should happen right so again to understand how RS links works your your workstation is set to 4 and again if I were to diagnose this driver and go to properties um, actually let's look at uh, com driver configuration you would see that my my workstation is set to four now I can name my workstation I can do what I want to but that's just my computer right so don't worry about this itself that is just your computer that is not what you're communicating to that's communicating from because everything is done through an emulation right now so don't don't worry about that now you will actually have your processor running. It is actually in a status where it is running and working perfectly. 
it is talking through node 4 which is your computer now all that's working hundred percent if you look right here all we have to do at this point in time is actually um, now we have our file in here is actually go in and we can actually run this file we can halt this file we can test we can do a one scan uh, we can do a lot of things so all we have to do now is go back to our our course file and our RS links um, uh, the RS links uh, micro starter and hit is hit go online now when you go online it's be the the reason it went online so very easily is because of that now if I choose to hit halt you see the program halts over here if I choose to hit one test you see it goes into single test if I choose to hit one scan see right here so program mode is what you should be in right here so now the the program in that we currently made is a hundred percent emulated through the RS logics emulate 500 so I know that could have been very uh, very much uh, uh, a complex scenario for some people some people may have had things work and not work so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another video showing this process so I'm going to actually close this video out because we actually have it working now where we can see we're online we're we're fully able to start programming and go on to the next module but what I want to do is for those people that had it work had some kind of issue with it locking up or anything I want to show you a different way to do this okay so uh, again we'll go ahead and close this video out and start with the next one and we'll go ahead and show the other way of doing this for those who actually had a problem okay